Hi there, it's Mark Sebastian, the founder of Option Pit, and this is the Vol Report. Reminder, this is for education purposes only. Shouldn't be considered best advice. Options have risk. All right. So here we are today, folks. It's uh, quite the day. Market is up three. VIX is down. This is one of those kind of summer doldrum days where everything's slow and everything's relaxed. And, you know, what have we got? We got an Apple up again. Amazon, Google, all your fang names look strong. Microsoft continues to keep rallying. That's been super strong. Uh, you know, that's been, you know, the S&P has been kind of the, 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 the lazy bones of the group. All right. Uh, IWM, the Russell, continues to be super strong. Uh, I mean, it's up big again. Um, well, not big, but in relative terms, it's up big. While, you know, the, the diamonds also have been kind of the, the laggard of the group because of the industrials, right? Caterpillar, Boeing, uh, you know, Deer's up today, but Deer, all those names have been kind of soft along with some of the energy names. Take a look at USO. It's off again. Oil has been in a free fall. Look at a five day chart here. This is going to come up in a second. I mean, it's been in a free fall and vol is starting to pick up here. I mean, look at a five day chart. That's just straight down. Um, but interestingly, XLE, which is, you know, has a, a pretty good correlation to oil. has been pretty flat. It might be an interesting put sale uh, if, if Vol can stay a little higher. Got a little overdone uh, on this selling down here. So this appears to be about right. Um, you know, the other pieces that we're, we've been watching, obviously, is the biotechs, uh, which continue to look strong. And, you know, kind of interested in Germany after their... Um, their big uh, kind of announcement from Merkel about uh, about strengthening the EU. You can see how rough things have been in Germany, but that was all from Italy. So there's still some recovery to be done here after uh, that Italian mess. Um, kind of interesting. And then... You know, finally bonds, you know, I'm not sure how long these guys can stay much stronger, but, you know, I do think you're going to see TLT get back to 118 and you're going to see, you know, bonds a little threatened 3% again. They got a little overdone and moved way too fast, right? It's all about speed with bonds. So I do think you're going to see things continue to be soften, just not with, with kind of some of the speed that we saw here. I think we're going to hang around, IEF will hang around, you know, 100, 101 for the next few uh, few weeks. Eventually, bonds will get back to 3%, but it's just not going to be as fast as people thought. And then, uh, like I said, NASDAQ and the Russell are the leaders, and your losers are uh, it's definitely the Dow. Um you know, just looking at my sectors, energy down, financials down. That's going to hold the Dow down, energy being the softest. All right, everybody. Hope you have a great morning, and I'll talk to you soon.